So far this week, so far this week, we've seen the U.S. dollar come back down, which has been bullish for markets. That uh, come down, uh, or the that drawback in that drawback in the U.S. dollar has fueled the S and P 500, fueled the uh, domestic equity markets to go higher, and we've seen a major bull run since Monday uh, through the election. Now it's Friday. And we have see probably seen a little bit of a pullback now in that uh, that run overall. So a lot of this is fueled by the U.S. dollar. Now we're looking at the U.S. dollar, and it's making higher lows and higher highs. And I believe as we get into next week and we get continued confirmation of who the president's going to be, who the House and Senate's going to be, we'll have even more confirmation, which is confirmation – equals potential buy on the, you know, the whole buy on the rumor, sell on the news scenario. So we've had the sell on the rumor, buy on the news scenario this week. We'll most likely see the, uh, the buying on the rumor, selling on the news scenario. Does this mean the rally or the long, uh, the intermediate term bull market is over? I don't believe so. I mean, if you look at the gains we've seen, they're pretty, pretty significant. So it's a profit-taking scenario, in my opinion. But the dollar is indicating to me that it is starting to bottom back to August lows, and we'll now start to see it trickle back up, which will put pressure on the uh, domestic markets uh, on a downside pl place. The VIX. The VIX has drastically dropped in the last couple of days. Uh, that is a significant move, but like the dollar, it's come back down to a, a support level and now is starting to show signs of moving higher. Uh, futures today, Friday morning, uh, have been negative. Um, they have, you know, they've uh, come off their lows overall, but what it's telling me is that I need to focus on that dollar move and that volatility move. So I'm looking at the different um, uh, volatility indexes, v uh, VIX, VXN, uh, even individual positions. Uh, I'm looking at gold volatility, oil volatility. These are s really good indicators of what we could see in the near, near future. Now, I believe, I believe that we're going to see some pullback in the next couple of days. Uh, going into next week, or in next week, we'll see a pullback overall. But this doesn't mean it's over. You know, the bull run is not over. Go back to the one thing that drives markets, and that is greed. And having that, that greed element, and you're two months away from the end of the year, less than two months away from the end of the year, Wall Street gets paid on bonuses, and that's bonuses based on exceeding their benchmark returns. So keep that in mind. Um, it, it's definitely a, a fuel for a continuation of the bull market. But... Once again, uh, watch the volatility indexes, watch the dollar uh, as we go into next week and position appropriately.